Hey there students, welcome to mygoodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to find the right and left end behavior models of um, a function. Don't forget to visit our website at mathgoodserve.com for a wide variety of math tutorials ranging from algebra all the way to calculus. All right, so let's take a look at the question. It says, uh, find a simple basic function um, as a right and end behavior model for the given function. So the function that we're going to consider um, is the function f of x equals 3 sine x plus x to the third plus the natural logarithm of x. All right. So before we um, solve this problem, let's go over the steps real quick for finding the end behavior model. So first thing you want to do, step number one, is you want to find um, <clears throat> the limit as x approaches um, plus or minus infinity of the add-in functions, the functions that you're adding. Okay, so in this example, for instance, we have three add-in functions, three sine x is one, x to the third, and ln x, they're all competing. So you want to find a limit as x approaches infinity. And then um, after finding the limits of the add-in functions, you then focus your attention on the ones that um, approach plus or minus infinity. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to compare growth rates, growth rates um, of functions, the add in functions that approach plus or minus infinity. All right, so when you compare your growth rates, um, the fastest growing function, fastest right to the definite article there. The fastest growing function is the, will be the end behavior model in that direction, okay? The fastest uh, growing function to infinity or negative infinity will be the end behavior, okay? Will be the end behavior, behavior model, okay? All right, so these are the steps you want to keep in mind. And also, I also want you to keep track of the growth rates of the functions. To infinity, that is, this is the order of the growth rates right here. So the slowest growing function is your logarithmic function, ln x, at infinity, um, that's the slowest. Next, we have um, the power function, x to the a. And then next to that is the polynomial function. I'm sorry, the ex exponential function, a to the x. This is kind of like a polynomial, okay, or rational, or even radical functions. And then the fastest growing function is x to the x. So this is the growth rates of the functions at infinity. This is the fastest, followed by this, and then that, and this is the slowest one. All right? Okay, now that we have our growth rates, we have our steps. Let's indicate what the definition of an end behavior model is. Okay, so let's just write out, down that definition. Definition of end behavior. So um, let's say G of X is the end behavior and behavior um, model for f of x if there are two cases we have the left and the right okay let's take a look at the um right first so for the right g of x is the end behavior model if the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x over that function, the behavior model g of x is equal to 1. Basically, this function matches the growth rate of this function at infinity. All right, and then to the left, g of x is the left end behavior model if the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the function over g of x is equal to 1. 
all right? They basically have the same, they have identical growth rates. All right, now with this information, we're going to go ahead and uh, solve the problem. We're going to start by finding, looking for the right end behavior, okay? Let's rewrite the function, f of x equals um, 3 sine x plus x to the third plus the natural logarithm of x. So right end behavior. For right end behavior, we're looking at x tending towards infinity, okay? Because that's what's at the right end of your x-axis. So for the right end behavior, uh, we're going to be taking a look at the limit as x approaches infinity of your add end functions, okay? Which is 1, 2, and 3. So for the first one, we're going to look at the limit as x approaches infinity of 3 sine x. So we're plugging infinity there. We have 3 sine infinity. What do you know about sine? Uh, the sine function, well, we know that it fluctuates between um, infinity and, I mean, between 1 and negative 1, right? So let's go ahead and indicate that. No matter how far you go, you're just going to have that oscillation between 1 and negative 1. So we're going to have 3 times negative 1 all the way to 1. This is an interval, okay? And when you distribute the 3, um, at infinity, this function fluctuates between 3, negative 3, and 3. It doesn't go beyond that, all right? Okay, let's take a look at the next function, the second function. Add in function limit as x approaches infinity of x to the third. In this case, we can just plug in infinity. We have infinity to the third power. Infinity to the third power is infinity. So this is a candidate for consideration. Remember, in the steps, only the functions that um, tend towards infinity or negative infinity are candidates for consideration, all right? The last add-in function, the third function, is the logarithmic function. So the limit as x approaches infinity of the natural logarithm of x is equal to the natural logarithm of infinity. Do you recall how the logarithmic function looks like? Let's go ahead and sketch it. The logarithmic function has a vertical asymptote at x equals uh, 0, and then it tends towards infinity slowly, something like that, all right? So it, the limit as x approaches infinity is going to be um, infinity here. So the natural logarithm of infinity is also infinity. So we have two candidates to compare. These two tend towards infinity. Now, how do we know which one is the answer? We're going to compare the growth rates. So do you remember the order of growth rates from the sm slowest to the fastest? Let's refresh our memory. Again, slowest to the fastest. Um, the slowest one is the logarithmic function, followed by your power or polynomial function. And then that's followed by exponential function. And then you have this function right here, x to the x. That's the fastest one out of all of them. Okay, so um, let's let's enumerate our function. Let's say this is function one and function two. Function one falls here and function two falls here. So which one grows faster? The polynomial function x to the third grows much faster than the natural logarithm of x at infinity. So our right end behavior model is x to the third. All right, so let's go ahead and write that down. Um, right end behavior model is uh, x to the third. Also, um, let's write down the definite, the meaning of the answer. What on earth does this mean? What does it mean for x to the third to be the right end behavior model for f of x? The meaning is that the limit as x approaches infinity of your original function f of x divided by the right end behavior model x to the third, your answer is going to be equal to 1. Because at infinity, this function behaves just like x to the third, so if you divide them, you get 1. Okay?
All right, now let's look at the other side. Let's look at the lift and behavior model and see what that is. <clears throat> lift and behavior model. What is this? We're looking at what happens, how the function behaves at negative infinity. Okay, that's what we're we are taking a look at um, in this case. So we're going to carry out the same procedure. We're going to take the limit as x approaches negative infinity for the three add-in functions. Okay, so limit as x approaches negative infinity of sine x. Actually, it's 3 sine x. So we plug in negative infinity. At negative infinity, how does a sine function behave? Well, it still exhibits the same pattern as it does at infinity. It oscillates between 1 and negative 1. So we have 3 times negative 1, comma 1. Distribute that, you have the limit as the, any value that is between negative 3 and 3. That's where the fluctuation happens. All right, now let's take a look at the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the second addend function which is x to the third. So we plug in negative infinity. So we have negative infinity to the third. If you raise negative to the third power is negative. Infinity to the third. Uh, infinity to the third is infinity. So negative infinity is the limit um, as x approaches negative infinity of x to the third. Last but not the least, the third addend function is your Natural logarithmic function limit as x approaches negative infinity of the natural logarithm of x. So we're going to be evaluating the natural logarithm of negative infinity. So what is the natural logarithm of negative infinity? You draw your graph. Let's take a look at the graph. What happens with the logarithmic function at negative infinity? Well, if you take a look at the logarithmic function, we know that it's always greater than zero. This is negative infinity right here. So what happens with this function at negative infinity? The answer is it's undefined, okay? Um, this input is out, way outside the domain of the logarithmic function. The logarithmic function is always greater than zero, okay? So this result is undefined. So if you think about a race, this limit, I mean, this function is disqualified. It's not qualified to compete. So we have only one function because this one is bounded between two finite values, so it doesn't even count. Negative infinity was as a result of x to the third. So what does that tell us? It tells us that the left and behavior model <coughs> behavior behavior model is x to the third doesn't even have any function to compete with. It is the only one that approaches um, negative infinity, all right? So what is the meaning of this? The meaning is that the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the original function divided by a left and behavior model x to the third is equal to unity, is equal to one, because your growth rates are identical, okay? So that's that. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. Feel free to post it um, to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool um, calculus tutorials such as this. And in the comment section, um, feel free to post a comment if you have any qu clarifications, questions, or issues with this tutorial. We'll like to address it. Or if you have any suggestions as to how we can improve our, our lessons or um, problems that you like us to work out for you, do post it in the comment section. More quiz can be found on mathgodserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.